Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionist, where medicine makes perfect sense. We resume our playlist known as Signs in Medicine. In previous videos, we have talked about Chavistic Sign, Trousseau Sign, Trousseau Syndrome, and today, it's time for Laser Trillant Sign, also known as how a dermatologist can suspect cancer even before the freaking family doctor can get his head out of his sphincter. Signs and Medicine is a playlist on my channel, please watch these videos in order. Laser Trilla Signs, Myths and Facts. Myths! Laser Trilla Sign is just good old seborrheic keratosis. Wrong, that's not true. It is similar to seborrheic keratosis, but it's not the same. The presence of seborrheic keratosis does not indicate an underlying malignancy. However, Laser Trilla Sign does. It looks similar to seborrheic keratosis, but it's not the same. And, by the way, the laser trilla sign is suddenly appearing or suddenly expanding. Brown skin lesions that look similar to seborrheic keratosis, plus or minus pruritus. This is associated with malignancy. If you remember my video on Hodgkin's lymphoma, I've told you that Hodgkin's lymphoma is associated with itching. Try to connect the dots together. Misconception number two, Lisa Trilla sign is associated with visceral malignancy. This is as narrow-minded as a freaking proctologist. Lisa Trilla sign can be associated with any cancer, not just visceral cancer. It could be associated with even lymphoma. And I do not think that you will regard a lymph node as a viscous. Hey, Medicosis, where did you get these facts from? From my favorite book, Sapira's Art and Science of Bedside Diagnosis. It makes McLeod's seem like an amateur. I mean, look at what's just written on the first page of this book. As the art of medicine is being glossed, the science is also threatened. Hmm, preach. Evidence-based medicine is coming to mean based on the consensus of a committee of experts. Clinical reasoning is replaced by following a practice guidelines. There are still students who aspire to be physicians, not providers, gatekeepers, resource managers, or freaking box checkers. Ain't that right, sister? And listen to the Sapira himself. One daily observes patients for whom the history and physical exam could lead one to the correct diagnosis hours, days, screw it, even weeks before it can be achieved by those who rely solely on on modern technology. And for some diagnoses, there is no substitutive technology. Case in point, vascular headache, depression, and irritable colon. But, 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 hey, medicosis, there is no such thing as vascular headache anymore. Okay, migraine and cluster headache. And there is no such thing as irritable colon. Okay, irritable bowel syndrome. Now what? Now what, Jeffrey Pence 27? Now let's have some fun. Thomas Hobbes once said, words are wise men's counters, but they are the money of fools. And here is Dr. Thomas Sowell at his best, explaining to you how people are fooled by words. Rent control laws do not control rents. Government stimulus packages do not stimulate the economy. Public interest law firms do not serve the public interest. Many compassionate policies inflict cruel results. The Democratic People's Republic of Korea is neither democratic nor a republic, nor do they give a rip about the people. You know what? To the hell with it. I'm gonna use the same concept for medicine. If you are as naive as the B lymphocyte before it recognized the antigen, you might assume that lupus anticoagulant is actually anticoagulant, when in fact it is pro-coagulant. You may think that myasthenia gravis is related to pregnancy just because it has the word gravis in it. You may presume that disseminated intravascular coagulation is only about coagulation, when in fact it's about bleeding and coagulation. You might be fooled to think that osteoarthritis is an inflammatory arthritis just because it ends in itis. You might think that aplastic anemia is an anemia, when in fact it is a pancytopenia. You might suppose that depolarization means absence of polarization, when in fact it is polarization just in the opposite direction. You probably anticipate that biological DMARDs are biological warfare mechanisms. You think that pyemia means pus in the blood when there is no such thing. You think that nicotinic acid is nicotine when in fact this is just vitamin B3. You may determine that acanthosis is just a condition of anthrax. 
the typhoid is typhus and pemphigoid is pemphigus. You probably hold that fibromyalgia has fibrosis when it's nothing more than a clinical diagnosis. You might surmise that hepatoma and lymphoma are benign tumors when in fact they are malignant. I do not have to say hepatocellular carcinoma or lymphosarcoma. You might estimate that acetaminophen does not cause fever because it's antipyretic when in fact the most common side effect is fever. I know there are no solutions, there are only trade-offs. You are a fool if you think that mononeuritis multiplex is a mononeuropathy when in fact it's a polyneuropathy. And maybe you hold to be true that ringworms are worms when in fact they are freaking fungi. If you just take words at face value, then words have become to you money of fools. Who else is gonna summarize these pieces of information together like this for you? Kaplan Medical? Oh, give me a break. Back to Lisa Trillon's sign. Sudden, dramatic, explosive eruption of multiple lesions that look like, but are not, seborrheic keratosis. What does seba mean? Sebum. Rheic. Rheic from rheo, which means river, which means flow. That's why we have diarrhea, rhinorrhea, autorrhea, menorrhea, etc. Keratosis, kerato from keratin, and osis means condition. That's why the name of my channel is Medicosis Perfectionalis. It's a condition of perfect medicine. Lisa Trela sign is associated with visceral malignancy, but not just visceral malignancy, any malignancy, including GI malignancy, lung cancer, breast cancer, urinary tract cancers, and lymphoma or leukemia and any other cancer. And that's why Lisa Trela sign is a paraneoplastic syndrome. What does neoplasia mean? It could be benign tumor or malignant tumor. In this case, it's malignant. And what does para mean? Parallel. It's a sign that is parallel to cancer. Now, please tell me about the signs of visceral malignancy that you know. We have Terousseau syndrome. Watch my previous video. Sister Mary Joseph nodule, acanthosis nigricans, lymphadenopathy, Lisa Trilla sign, erythromelalgia, which happens with myeloproliferative neoplasms, spider angioma with liver cancer, ichthyosis acquisita, which literally mean acquired ichthyosis, florid cutaneous papillomatosis, codon syndrome, acrokeratosis paraneoplastica of basics, this is freaking Jeff Bezos, brother, tylosis and tripoms. If your woke professor has heard of any of this, you are one lucky student. I know you're not. What is the Rousseau syndrome? Migratory thrombophlebitis. What is sister major Joseph Nodule? Periambilical lesion. What is acanthosis nigricans? Dark brown velvety skin lesions. What is Lisa Trillon sign? Sudden, explosive eruption of multiple skin lesions that look similar to seborrheic keratosis. If you remember my man, Rousseau, he had gastric cancer. So here are the signs that you might find on Rousseau's skin. Look at this, acanthosis nigricans. This is sister Mary Joseph Nodule, and this is Rousseau syndrome or migratory thrombophlebitis. Look at his back and you'll find this laser trilla sign. Want to learn about CNS pharmacology? Check out my premium course at medicosisperfectionalis.com where we talk about analgesics, anti-epileptics, anesthetics, antidepressants, mood stabilizers, and much more. And you can get a 40% discount towards any course on my website. Just use discount code 40 off. Only 33 students left. I am really grateful that you watched this video. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my premium courses today and keep these videos for you forever. Thank you for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.